Hawk should move John Collins only because it, if he sincerely feels that way, like the ball needs to be moved, I, I agree. I think Trey Young's a really good player. Don't get me wrong. He can score, pass the ball. The stat sheet's going to look good. He got the fancy three-point shot. However, he does tend to hold on to the ball too much. I don't know if it's a Lloyd Pierce thing. I, I don't know what it is, but the thing about this Hawks team is, and I see it with Cam Reddish and sometimes Hunter, and when they get Hunter back, I think that they should win more games. But I, I think John Collins, he wants to be featured more. I think that I do like them on the alley-oops, but I think he needs to have the ball in his hands more often. He's playing pretty good since he's been drafted from 2017 to 2019. He's improved as a player. Okay. Yeah, his this, points per game this season yeah. are down from last year. It's, it's down a little bit. And I know the Hawks have been losing and, and people are expecting them to be in the playoffs. I still think they'll make the playoffs, but there is an issue with this Hawks team defensively. And I think Trey young, it needs to, even though Clint Capella is the anchor of that defense, I think Trey Young's lack of defense, or even effort to me. I was watching the game against the Knicks, and there, there's an effort problem. on When you see Derrick Rose kind of looking like old Derrick Rose, he, he played with way too much confidence when Trey Young was guarding him. <laughs> I, I'm not even trying to be funny here. I, I was very concerned about that. When you have your leader of your team not even trying, I'm not even saying you have to be the best defender, but even trying defensively, that's an issue. So well, I think Trey's a little dude, man. How many guys, sp- you know, that smaller lockdown defenders? Uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to be locked down. I'm just saying some effort. And I think if Trey Young commits to at least say, okay, I want to get better defensively. I want to buy into Lloyd Pierce's system. I think I'll make the rest of the team better. I think sometimes Trey Young, he's focused on holding the ball too much. He's scoring too much, which is scoring is not a bad thing. I like the numbers, but when you just watch outside of the stats, it, I, I feel like he is maybe holding back John Collins a little bit. I don't think the Hawks should move him. I think if they don't make the playoffs, they need to bring in a coach who's more more of, I, I don't want to say Lloyd Pierce isn't a leader. I don't want to say that because I don't necessarily think he's a bad coach, but I, I don't think they're responding to him how they should. Because I do think he is preaching defense, but but they're not doing that. The, every game is the same. With it. The way they blow games, it's the same. It's the turnovers and the lack of defensive effort across the board. Shout out to Clint Capello, though. He's been playing well. DeAndre yes, Hunter, I mean, some people. Been, rebounds, blocks, yeah. all of those are in Clint Capello's favor. But it's like ever, ever since the fallout, it seems like he really hurt the chemistry of the teams. I mean, they started off well. Like they were blazing in the beginning of the season, started off 4-1. and one. They had a couple of games slide, and then he came out and said this. And since that statement, that was on January the 8th. They're 7-12 and 12 since then. Like, the team has tanked ever since then, and it seems like regardless of what deficiencies they have on defense, he messed up the chemistry they had going on. They looked like they were easily going to be a playoff team and really in the mix. And ever since then, it's been ugly. But to your point about John Collins wanting to have the ball more and be more a part of the offense, in the five games this season where John Collins has led the team in scoring, they're 0-5. When he's scoring, they lose. It's not a good look when he's the one leading the charge. On the flip side of it, when Trey Young leads the team in scoring, which is most of the time, they're 9-6. and six. Trey is 11th in the league in scoring and 4th in assists. Clearly, he's passing the ball more than folks are giving him credit for. He make it sound like he's doing what people were saying James Harden was doing, which he absolutely wasn't either. He's distributing the ball. People aren't, like, he's not getting the support that he needs on the scoring side. I think Trey Young is doing too much sometimes. I, I know the numbers support that, okay, well, Trey Young scoring is a great thing. 11th in league in scoring, the assists are there. I'm just saying, when you look at the flow of the offense, you take the stats out of it. I know stats do tell some type of story. I'm not even saying John Collins really is the end-all, be-all. Like, he's so darn great. They don't win but, when but Trey's I, not scoring. But the statement he made is true that they need to swing the ball around more. Get Cam Reddish involved more, DeAndre Hunter involved more. Maybe you're right about the John Collins don't need to be the primary guy, but that move no. in the ball statement is true. Yeah, but like they, they need... Trey Young to be doing the scoring in order for them to win. But he's been doing the scoring. They're and still not winning. He was doing the scoring last year. They weren't winning. Yo, I, what, what about the injuries, man? Like, I, 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 lo- I really like John Collins. And I think what he said was true about Trey. Not saying Trey is a bad player, but John has taken on a different role this year since Capella is more involved in the offense. He and Capella are splitting the ball, essentially. Some nights it works better than others, 
But overall, I think what's really hurting this team, to Jansen's point, is the defense late in the games and the the sustained injuries. You haven't had Rondo, uh, uh, Dunn. You got Hunter on the bench. You got uh, uh, the rookie that's not playing every night. You know, so it's it's a a lot of pieces that they brought over in the offseason that was supposed to help with the scoring and defense that have not really been a part of the team as of yet in a real consistent way. Oh, yeah, Gallinari. I almost forgot about that. Why is Gallinari not getting the ball more either? He needs more minutes. He can score. I know the defensive, he's not great defensively. Why is he in the game more? And I guess that's a Lloyd Pierce problem as well, too. Yeah, and, and like here, Trey ain't subbing. And here's the thing, man. <laughs> Since all of us, we just we just had we were talking about different problems here, there. That smells like Lloyd Pierce is going to get fired. I don't know about if it's going to happen during the season. I, ho- I hope I hope it doesn't happen during the season. I'm not a big fan of letting the coach go mid season. I want, time for a culture change. But but at the end of the year, if this team does in the playoffs, and I, I said it many times, he's going to get fired. But but he deserves to at least finish the year out because of the injuries. Jansen, they don't always point. give everybody that kind of rope. To that point, I believe Lloyd Pierce knows that's what's on the table because he's taking two to three days off to go see his wife have a, or be with his wife to have a kid. And the assistant coach that's coaching, a lot of people said he's the one that's going to take his plot, his spot when uh, Lloyd Pierce moves on. McMillan, right? you, you're saying he's... He's on his way out because he went to go be there for no, the no, birth no, of no. his not child. Saying, not saying that, but I, I believe. Hey, damn, that, this like, tough crowd. That, that, but he can't a, be there for childbirth. No, but that's a rare deal. <laughs> that's a rare, that's something rare that a coach really does. You don't hear about that in the NBA very often. I think well, they made most a big of the deal. NBA coaches are too old to be having kids. That's I, why you don't hear about I, I it. But. They, I think they made it a big deal because of that. Because a lot of people. Maybe around the Hawks, a lot of media people do believe that that's going to be the replacement during the season. That's what a lot of fans want. It's 50-50. Some people are holding Trey Young and, and these. 